Uh, yesterday, I brought up the Dakota Access Pipeline to you, and I mentioned that the three affiliated tribes, uh, the Mandan, Hidatsa, and the Irekara, uh produce an incredible amount of oil. Uh, and in fact, they, uh, they ship 300,000 barrels a day, 300,000 barrels a day of their production through the Dakota Access uh, Pipeline. And um, the oil that they produce uh, represents about 90% of their revenues. So again, uh, you know, this, this is what they use uh, for their essential needs like education, healthcare, infrastructure, and, and really so many other things. Now I have a statement from them and I, in regard to uh, the Dakota Access Pipeline, and I would ask that that be included in the record, Mr. Chairman. No objection. All right. So uh, with that, uh, Congresswoman, given that the uh, Mandan, Hidatsa, and Arikarad Nation uh, ships a significant portion of their oil through DAPL uh, each day, wouldn't a shutdown of the pipeline have devastating economic consequences for them? Senator, I... Um, if I understand the question, it, you're asking if if the oil pipeline shuts down, if it will have a devastating effect. Um, Senator, I would be more than happy to, I, I don't know the specificity of, of every single job there, but I, I can tell you that I would be um, more than uh, dedicated to to being briefed on that issue if I am confirmed. Well, they produce 300,000 barrels of oil a day. That represents 90% of the revenue, and a significant amount of that oil goes through the pipeline. So wouldn't it follow that, that if that pipeline shut down, that's going to have a major economic impact to them? I understand what you're saying, Senator. Thank you. Do you agree or disagree? I, I don't disagree. I, I understand what you're saying. If If something shuts down, then uh, jobs can be lost, and I, I understand that. So thank you for sharing that well, with thank me. Thank you, Congressman.